One of my subscriber uh, has an interesting question and he says, you know, in my organization, I'm a CXO member and most of my fellow colleagues in the CXO community in my organization are not happy with uh, uh, the CEO in this case, who is our reporting manager or boss. There is trust deficit and there are plenty of unfair practices that prevail. So what should we do? Should we kind of uh, keep quiet? because we are part of uh, that leadership and uh, you know we have to survive we have to take care of our career so i keep quiet or should i be taking this up with uh, higher authority the skip level manager of my ceo if i do that it comes with a risk about you know my job my career and i feel stuck up any point of view any suggestions so i i will be very honest anyone who's worked with me would know prabir's favorite line is i walk with my resignation in my pocket because when you when you're walking with that, then you're not needing to hang on to a job because uh, ultimately it's the issue of philosophy and principle that you want to work with. If you're willing to compromise, then I mean, the answer is very evident, right? Just hang on. It's your job. It keeps your home fires burning. Then don't bother about principles. Don't bother about being bullied. Live with it because you don't have an alternative. So my first comment is build yourself beyond your CEO or beyond your organization. If you have a reputation, if you have the competence, the capability that you're not dependent on a manager or a organization to survive, uh, it becomes a lot better. So that will be my first suggestion to this person. The second suggestion uh, would be in line with what he has said. Yes, you must talk to the skip level, but first talk to the individual manager. Now, in this case, it seems that everyone has the same view and experience. So maybe it's a more clear black and white case, but sometimes you know, it's an issue of misperception on two sides. And not every manager is also adept at getting a dialogue, which is easy, or, or sharing feedback and asking for feedback. You know, any feedback for me, how could I be getting better? So maybe, the, you know, the communication never happens. And therefore, with time, both sides live in a world of what they have assumed is the other person, right? So if, uh, if I always would suggest that please go and talk, you choose the right time in person, preferably not in his office when he's in the high chair, not at nine o'clock in the morning, bad time to do these conversations in the evening, you know, maybe over lunch or whatever else, coffee and say, this is what I've been feeling. This is what I'm thinking. Two things can happen. One is the guy can actually deny and say, you're imagining the guy could be empathetic. I'm sorry. You are feeling that way. It was not my intent, but now that I'm aware, I will be more conscious, more cautious. And let's hope that the person will change. And the third is the person could say, the problem is, is, is you, it's not me. And that's how many, many CEOs also think the challenge is it's not the best leader who becomes the CEO, right? That's also a, you know, the irony of, of leadership. He delivers the numbers, that's about it, but he's not a great leader. So once you've exhausted that, then you have an opportunity of, because you are a CX, so if you were somewhere else, you could even have used an ombudsman line, the whistleblower line. There are many of these corporate governance practices which are there. If he's, a chair, uh, if he's the CEO, my suspicion is you would want to reach out to the chairman or someone on the board that you would, and you should, unless you're scared of putting in the fight because the risks are there. Not that boards are necessarily very uh, uh, neutral. They are not. Most boards are not. That's the uh, another subject someday. That is a challenge also in the way boards work, the way the boards are constructed and the relationship with the CEO, right? But uh, you should do that so that whenever you decide to leave, at least your conscience is clear. I have tried everything possible to try and resolve it. But if it has not happened, my last line will be, please remember, your life is more important than this job. There is no point feeling terrible about it, feeling miserable, because at the end of the day, it may be a hiccup of three months, one month, six months, whatever else, but life will move on. So please don't be a fool and, and expect things and miracles to happen. Walk out, walk out on him, walk out of the organization. Very, very pragmatic, very practical. Thank you so much for sharing your point of view.